I'm sure if you're a fan of cartoons, you probably know who Doug is. Doug is one of the many childhood favorites of many people's childhood. The lovable Nickelodeon show, sometimes Disney show, has been in everyone's heart and many people enjoy it. But why tell you that the antics of the titular character Doug and all of his friends and family in the show were all fake? Well, I told you that it was all just an illusion, a lie. Well, well, in this story, we're gonna learn exactly why that is and what it is real world really is. So join me as we read the story of Doug's real life. Everyone remembers the show Doug, one of the three original Nicktoons. It seemed like a pretty normal show about the challenges of a young boy facing his daily life, but I've always gotten a kind of weird feeling from the show. Compared to other kids' shows, Doug seemed more negative and anxiety driven. Doug was always worried about something and in most episodes he would have fantasies of everyone he knew cruelly laughing at him due to whatever problem he was facing that week. Doug always came through in the end though and every episode ended with him writing his journal about how he had overcome his blown out proportion problem. In 2005, I began to have dreams about the show for no apparent reason. I couldn't remember the details, but they made me want to see the show again. The show had not even been seen in reruns for years at that point, so I could not think of any way to see it again. To my surprise, however, it came back for one week in the fall of 2005, airing at 6 a.m. on weekdays. I watched it for all five days. The first four were episodes I remembered as a kid, but they did not sync up with my memories perfectly. It had been a while, so I just chalked it up in flaws in my memories. The final episode, though, was something I was positive I had never seen before. It started with the normal intro with the line drawings, but the characters never appeared. The lines continued as normal, reacting as if the characters were there. Once the intro ended, it switched to so Doug in a dark room, writing in his journal. He was not narrating his writing like he usually did. He just silently wrote for about a minute. The screen faded out and the usual episode title screen appeared. Yet there was no skit this time. There was just giant letters forming the title, Doug's Real Life. The episode opened with Doug eating breakfast. He was given a voiceover about how there was a big test he had neglected studying for. As his family was having a normal conversation, the screen started flashing. The flashes seemed to be showing something, but they did not last long enough for me to figure out what they were revealing. Doug left his house and began walking to school. During his school, he had one of his fancies about his life being ruined. Miss Wingo announced that Doug had flunked the test, and the entire staff started laughing at him, with their heads spinning around Doug's head. They went on for longer than most fantasies, and the louder laughter sounded more cruel than usual. When Good got to school, the screen flashed again. This kind, it stayed on the new image, or rather the new animation style. The colors were darker and many objects had changed color. It resembled a negative film almost. Doug was walking through the school hallway, which was full of clips who have never been seen on the show before. No one paid attention to him. After Doug got to his decks, the animation switched back to normal. Suddenly, for no reason at all, the scene changed to after school had ended. Doug was walking home, warning to himself about the test. Upon reaching his house, his dog Porkchop greeted him. Doug began talking to him, until the screen flashed. Porkchop 
torn into a hunk of rotting meat. And Doug's house became decrepit and abandoned. Doug went into his house and acted as if he was talking to someone, though it was completely empty. After interacting with non-existent people for a while, he sat down at an empty table. The screen flashed again, and Doug's family was there with him, eating dinner. The phone rang, and Doug's mom answered it. Doug instantly thought it was his teacher telling him about him flunking the test. Doug had a fancy about his parents yelling at him for failing. In it, they grew to be gigantic, and their faces become twisted and dark red. The screen flashed to the empty abandoned house once more. Doug was crying and apologizing, but there was no one else in the room. He went up to his bedroom, which was completely empty except for a book and a pencil. Doug picked up the book and started writing. But he narrated this time. He simply said, I can't tell which one is real. And then, the episode ended. <laughs>